Of course I can talk about uh, molecular memory. Of course I can talk about uh, drug delivery, and I will do. But the most important thing I think was recognized today was um, fundamental science. And I think this message should go out from this room worldwide to everybody involved in the supporting of science. You must keep supporting it. NSF and your brothers and sisters around the world at a fundamental level. Because none of us can actually forecast discovery. And I want to come back to one thing because it's quite an emotional moment for me. Science is global. And <coughs> a lot of my colleagues are from other parts of the world as I am and been welcome to America. Uh, <coughs> my research group has Koreans, it has um, Australians, it has Chinese, it has uh, people from Saudi Arabia at the moment, it has uh, people from India, uh, from Poland, uh, I will miss somebody out, Turkey, um, we can go on and on. And this is what makes it hugely rich to have this group of people working beside their American counterparts. And on this subject, uh, the one point I'm making politically today is um, if I look back to my old country, it's in a real mess because it thinks that it can erase borders to people coming into it. This will not be good for science. The science in the UK has depended these last 30 years on <coughs> a pool of 500 million people for bringing in its talent. If the portcullis comes down, it'll go down to 75, 65 million. That is not good news.